calculus. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, come back. Bring it on back, my friend. Sex. Okay? Excellent. Now that I've got your attention, today we're gonna make a crepe. That's right. Singular. One, one crepe, singular. Not plural, for a number of reasons. The first one being that I had limited funds. So I could only get tiny sugar, tiny flour, and, and tiny sugar. Also, if I'm being realistic, these are probably not going to turn out edible. So I don't want to waste an entire batch of crepes, so we're just going to make one. But lastly, it is just me here, so I, even if they were tasty, I probably couldn't eat the entire batch of crepes. So this is my recipe. I've written it in crayon because I'm a pro, just like Gordon Ramsay. If you've ever seen Hell's Kitchen, basically the man says in every episode that if you write your recipes in crayon, they're bound to turn out delicious. And I believe him. I also have uh, blackberries because I feel like the crepe by itself is going to be kind of bland and I want to put, I want to put something on it that gives it a little bit of a fruity, tangy flavor. Because I like fruit and, and sp specifically I like, I like blackberries, they're delicious. And also pineapple was too expensive. So let's get started by gathering our required materials. I don't have a countertop. So I have this little table here in front of it that I got out of the garbage can that I typically use when I'm, when I'm making meals, which is very rarely because I don't super love the mess that I have to make in such a confined space. I really just wish that I had a proper kitchen, but sometimes if I'm baking, I have to spread everything out on the floor, which I'm going to need a bowl for mixing. There's stuff on my shirt and these are wet because I just did the dishes. I swear guys, I do my laundry sometimes. Okay, full. I have a tablespoon and I have a teaspoon measure that are typically magnetized to my fridge. I've got those, right? I think, wait, where's my crayon recipe? It says... It says I need an egg, sugar, milk, flour, and vanilla. Oh yeah, I need vanilla. Oh, vanilla, fantastic. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get a little, I'm gonna get a little spicy with it. I'm gonna put cinnamon in it because cinnamon's good. And typically I feel like you can't ruin a recipe with cinnamon, it just enhances. Unless you, unless you over cinnamon it, but I'm not gonna over cinnamon the crepe. I'm not, I'm not gonna over cinnamon it, okay? Just trust me. Thank you chicken for this egg. I'm gonna use almond milk. And I'm pretty sure it'll accomplish the same task. Hopefully. Let me take a break to drink some water. Oh, I'm really hoping this turns out guys. I don't really know if I want to use a fork or a spoon to mix this. I have a whisk, but I feel like because the quantities are so small that I don't need to use a whole entire massive whisk for it. So I'm, I'm gonna just roll with the fork. We're gonna see how it turns out, okay? I also haven't washed the blackberries yet, but we'll get to that step. First, I wanna make the batter. So we're gonna crack the egg. And this is, this is the most intense part because I'm not good at cracking eggs. If anyone judges me for how I crack this egg, I'm, I'm gonna lose it. All right. That, okay, all right, let's go. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> it's in there and I don't, I actually think I managed to get that in there with one hand and there's no shell pieces. So that's miraculous, truly. I, I'm gonna wash my hands really quick. Okay, napkin. I need a napkin. Where did I put them? Oh, I found them. The stall is attached. Okay. My hands are clean. Next. We need one tablespoon of sugar, so that's flour. This is sugar, so we're gonna open, we're gonna open it. Just go to commercial break for a second and I swear to God in the next five minutes I'll have this thing open, I promise. Ah, oh, I think I got a paper cut. And there's chunks in it. One whole tablespoon of sugar. Okay, uh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do a rounded tablespoon. I don't think that's what it said on the website. I could be wrong. This is a tablespoon of sugar. In Into the egg it goes. See this guys? 
I'm making food. Isn't that awesome? Mom, I'm so responsible. Hey, mom. Hey, mom, you're probably not watching this right now, but I just want you to know that I'm responsible and I'm cooking my own food. I, I'm impressed with myself. I just want to say, right, I'm actually decent at cooking when I have the proper resources, time and material uh, and space, you know? Like when I was, when I used to live with my parents when I was younger, I mean, I haven't lived with my parents in like a few years now, but when I used to live with them when I was younger, I always loved cooking fancy food for them. And, you know, they could have given me biased reviews because they're my parents, but you know, I always thought it turned out great, so. Cooking is something that makes me really happy and I have a lot of fun with it, even if it doesn't always, you know, turn out great all the time. It's the same line of thinking with the, uh, you know, the painting, right? Like, you don't have to be good at something to do it. You don't have to be good at something to enjoy it. Okay, flour. How much flour are we using? Uh, two tablespoons. Okay. Two tablespoons. I want all the sugar off of this before I dip it in the flour thing. Two tablespoons of flour. We got one. <clears throat> I think I just inhaled some. Okay. And then two. Excellent. Excellent. Do you see this? We're mixing. <laughs> I really got stuff on my face near that. We're mixing it. We're whisking it. Let me get a close up here. All right. This is, we're whisking and, you know, we're whisking it. Okay. Can you guys see the, can you see it? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna keep whisking this. This is gonna take me a minute. Wish I had an electric mixer, like a KitchenAid, you know? KitchenAids are expensive though. Aren't they like upwards of a thousand dollars? Those things are expensive. They're very fancy though. One day I would love to have a really nice kitchen with a lot of really nice tools so that I can make a lot of really nice food. And then all of you guys can come over and we can make we can make dinner together and we can eat together and it'll be a good fun time. It, it looks like pancake batter. So I think that's what we're going for. I'm pretty sure. Um, let's add the vanilla because I feel like there's a little bit not enough liquid in there. Wait, where's my recipe? God, if I lose my crayon recipe, I'm gonna have a panic attack. I can't do this without the recipe. Please, please. Dude. Oh, it's under the bowl. Okay. You guys, do you see this? This is like, my apartment is so tiny and I still lose my mind. Okay. Oh, one and a half tablespoons of milk. Okay, I think if I add some milk and the vanilla to this, it'll help it be a little bit less uh, sticky. So one and a half, oh, I should, I should shake this. Sorry, I just want to make sure it wasn't expired. <laughs> one and a half tablespoon of milk. Okay, one. That's one and a half, okay? You guys didn't see that. I definitely measured it properly. One and a half tablespoons of milk, and then one half teaspoon of vanilla. I really like vanilla, so I don't think you could have too much. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sprinkle just a little bit of a little for taste okay and we're mixing uh this is getting a lot more liquidy than i thought it would this might not be what we wanted i don't know i think if it's a crepe it's supposed to be like loose and liquidy but maybe i just put too much milk in it more cinnamon okay that was a lot of cinnamon <clears throat> anyway let me show you what we're working with this is, this is how it's looking thus far. So I think it's turning out really great. Okay, we've added everything that we needed to add and we've mixed it to the best of our ability. I think, I think now it might be time to cook the, the thing, the crepe, this. That. It's supposed to be a crepe, but I don't know what it is now at this point. <laughs> this is, this is what we are, uh... This is what we're driving with right now. So I I don't know what texture this is supposed to be, but this is what we're doing. So anyway, let's just cook it. Let's just let's just cook it. I don't care. Do I want a small pot or no? Uh, okay, I have a question. And this this is a rhetorical question. But let's just pretend like I'm actually asking you. Is this a better size than this? I feel like I want the crepe to 
to not be thick. I want it to thin out. So I feel like a bigger pin. I feel like this, this is the way to go. Crepe masters, if you're there, if you're watching this, please advise for future reference. Do I want a big pot or do I want a little one? I feel like big makes sense because you want the crepe to be really thin. So the bigger the pockets, the more the batter spreads out and the better your crepe is. All right, this is just, this is, just trust, just trust. Source, trust me, bro. Source, definitely not Reddit. Okay, the stove is on. Uh, I put a little bit of oil in the bottom of the pan so that it could heat up. And we're just gonna, do you hear that sizzling? We're just gonna wait. We're gonna wait, cautiously. Oh my God. Okay, I just dropped coffee grounds everywhere. This is my spatula, it's tiny. This is my tiny spatula. His name is Pat. Pat the spatula. Please don't judge me for naming my spatula. I am a sad person. I'm not gonna lie to you, um, this kind of smells like it's burning and I feel like maybe it's because I dropped a goldfish underneath the burner like last week and I forgot to take it out. So it just kind of smells like smoke. So uh, hopefully that doesn't catch on fire because it's too hot for me to try and fix it now. So, it's fine. We're gonna pour it in. We want all of this in there. Dude, it's sticking to the bowl. It's in there. Let me show you what we're working with. Okay, this is, this is what we have. So, I'm gonna let that heat up for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna try and flip it with the spatula. Oh my God, something is happening. Look, it's smoking. And I don't know if that's coming from the crepe or like the goldfish underneath, but it's cooking. Okay, let's go. I think the ridges are starting to cook here. Like, can you see that it's kind of like, it, it looks like it's solidifying almost a little bit. Um, the website said that it'll start to bubble and like solid up on the top. So I'm going to wait for that. But I'm really hungry, so. Okay. You're still slipping. Can you stay up just for a second? So I just, I want to try and record this, this flip that I'm about to do of the crepe. So if you fall over, that's not on me, okay? You're the one who can't sit still and wait patiently for your dinner, all right? Look, it's like, it's it's actually kind of solid. This kind of looks like a crepe. It's not quite as like, uh, what's the word? Thin as I would have wanted it, but it as it's sticking together and it kind of smells like French toast. And honestly, I'm, I'm vibing with it, so. I'm just gonna gently kind of poke the edges a little bit so that it uh, doesn't rip because I, if I rip this, it's gonna be inedible. Like that's very important. It needs to stay in one piece because I have to do the signature crepe roll. Okay, oh my God. Oh my goodness, this is like a giant pancake. Oh, I love it. Oh, I'm so happy. Dude, I thought this was gonna like not be in one piece. Dude, dude, I just made a crepe. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> I just made a crepe, dude. And it actually looks like a crepe. Like this actually looks like a real, a real life crepe. I just made a real life crepe. I feel like that episode of Adventure Time where where uh, Jake makes the, the bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes, making bacon pancakes, making pancakes, making bacon pancakes, except it's a crepe. Dude, all right, let's get these blackberries washed and set. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse these. We have, we have blackberries, so I'm gonna squish these onto the crepe, I think. I think that would be good. Um, let's go ahead and plate this. Okay, this is, this is the crepe. Bellissimo! Look at that fantastic texture. Oh, ow, I burnt my hand. Okay. <laughs> this, this looks like a tortilla. Let's keep it on this side. That's fine. Um, and then the blackberries, right? Oh, heck yes. Yes. 
sir. Yes, sir. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna take our fork. I have a matching, I have a matching astronaut fork and we're just gonna like squish these into the crepe. By the way, I realize that this probably looks gross, but like crushed blackberries are so good, bro. I can't. I'm gonna just eat this one. Okay. Boom. It's time to taste test this. Okay. Our crepe is cooked. It's time for the moment of truth. I want, I want to get a nice little taste. I hope it's not too eggy. Because that's something that ruins crepes, and I will say also ruins French toast, is when it tastes too eggy. Because I feel like sometimes the ratio of egg to flour and vanilla and all that is off, but we're going to... We're going to try. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Dude. I just made a crepe and it tastes good. Mom, mom, I, mom, I just made a crepe and it tastes good. Parents, family, friends, individuals, I just made a crepe and it tastes good. I feel like I've just aged five years and this, I'm, I, you best believe I'm gonna be cooking this for breakfast every day this week. Heck yeah, let's go. I'm gonna put the ingredients in the description. You should try and make a crepe too, cause it's very tasty. Have a good one. Another money shot for the road. You're welcome.